What's good with YouTube, man? Welcome back to another way of the video, man. Hey, man, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man, and stay tuned for more lit videos, man. This week, man, this week's topic, we're going to be talking about crown brushing, man. You dig what I'm saying? Like, man, we're going to be talking about getting that crown right. You dig what I'm saying? But first, before we get into that, you know we got that right here. So, yeah, man, get straight into it. Let go. think down in the comment section below man but yeah man hey let's get straight into the video for one your crown your crown is your crown is one of the to me well to me and probably a lot of other waves man your crown is one of the hardest places to get waves there's also a spot where where you have to focus on the most and for those who don't know you know what i'm saying your crown is that spot that, that's basically the area from which where your hair grow you dig what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying that's that's basically what your crown is it's not a foul spot. So of course, like people who don't have waves or people who know probably not too much and nothing about waves, you know what I'm saying? They'll be like, damn, man, look at that bald spot in the back of your head. But it's not a bald spot. You know what I'm saying? Like I've had, you know what I'm saying? Like had to talk about that in a sense a little bit myself because of people who, who would assume and think like, hey, that's a bald spot. No, it's not a bald spot. The crown is the area from which your hair grow. You know what I'm saying? Your hair grows your hair grows in directions, you dig what I'm saying? So that's why like when brushing is good, like I said in my last video, to know which direction you're brushing, you know what I'm saying? Not to just go all crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like that's why it's good to actually know which direction you're brushing because like when it comes to, in a sense, closing your crown or like just trying to get like that, that swirl or beehive, whatever it is, like, you know, like whichever, whichever one you're trying to go for, or even like a hybrid, I think, you dig what I'm saying? Like a hybrid, I think that's like a combination of a swirl and a beehive, you dig what I'm saying? So like, even when trying to do that, like the first thing you need to do is you gotta find your crown. You dig what I'm saying? Some people can also have two crowns, or some people have like the regular, like the common one, I think, is one crown, you dig what I'm saying? So you gotta find your crown, and you gotta know where your crown is. As you can see, Right here, depending on the direction, depending on what what type of crown that you're trying to that you're trying to do that you're trying to get me personally, I kind of want I kind of want like a I kind of want like a beehive. You dig what I'm saying? Like that's kind of what I want to go for, or even like a swirl. You know what I'm saying? Like because like that's what I'm kind of trying to do right now. Like I'm trying to perfect my crown area because you know what I'm saying? Because my crown has always been an area that I've kind of neglected. You dig what I'm saying? Like you know I've always. I've always brushed, you know, your right, your left side, your top, your back. But you know what I'm saying? Then eventually, like, you know, they just start to close in. But, you know, I've never just spent as much time as needed on my crown area. You dig know what I'm saying? And that's one thing that you have to do. Because, like, if you want to transition into, like, just say go from just a waver, you know what I'm saying? Just being wavy to being, like, to that, I, you know what I'm saying? To, like, that elite status or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to have that crown right. You know what I'm saying? Your crown got to, it got to, you know what I'm saying? It got to be closed. And you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be spinning around that crown. And that also, like when you get, like when you like get your crown like figured out or whatever, like how to brush your crown, you know what I'm saying? That right there is gonna like set your waves off as well. You dig what I'm saying? That right there within itself, that's gonna make your waves look even better. You dig what I'm saying? Cause nobody wants to have like waves on the top, on both sides in the back. And then all of a sudden like towards the middle of your head, you know what I'm saying? You got it in there, you dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like nobody wants that. You know what I'm saying? Like you wanna, you wanna have everything waved up, everything closed up. You know, let that sink in. When brushing your crown, like if you're like a beginning waver as well, like you know what I'm saying, like a beginning waver, or somebody just starting off waving. You know what I'm saying? It's good. I believe it's good. Like when you first start brushing, try to brush going starting with your crown. You know what I'm saying? That's probably an easier way to do it other than like doing everything else and then, then, you know what I'm saying, trying to go back and get that, you know what I'm saying, trying to go back and get it last, you know what I'm saying, you know, now you done weighed up everything else, but now you gotta go back and kind of now start putting that work in. That's kind of what I'm doing now, you know what I'm saying, like I've 
kind of started trying to put more work in on my crown area than, you know what I'm saying, than what I did before. So yeah, man, like you gotta put that work in on your crown. As you can see right here, you know what I'm saying, like when brushing my crown, man, I like to start from the top, you know what I'm saying, hit the top, and then go, you know, boom, go around, you know, basically basically go around in a circular motion, you dig what I'm saying? Like just continue to go around in a circular motion, and basically until, until I can see that my crown is closing. You dig what I'm saying? One thing that you don't want when trying to close your crown, like you don't want like that line going across the center of your head. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure like some of you probably have seen that before, like, or, or have dealt with that. You know what I'm saying? Like you trying to close your crown, but yet all you're doing is forming like a line that's like, that's just like kind of like parting your hair. You dig what I'm saying? Like nobody wants that. You dig what I'm saying? Like you wanna, you wanna have like that. I like to compare it to like the eye of the storm. You dig what I'm saying? Like if you ever seen like a, like, you know what I'm saying, like a hurricane, like how it look on like a map or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying, and you see that and it look like boom, like, you know what I'm saying, like you just spot, you just spot that eye of the storm. Like that's kind of how you want your crown to be. You know what I'm saying, like you want that junk to be swirled up or even like a beehive and just boom, you know what I'm saying. Like even if you've seen like a beehive before, you know how it go. You know, we're gonna go all the way up to the top till you know you're closed up, you dig what I'm saying? And like, that's how you want your crown to be, man. Like you don't want it to be, you don't want that line. Nobody wants that line. But like when you have your crown waved up, you know what I'm saying, it adds it adds tremendously to your waves, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing that I'm trying to get to right now. Is um, you know, basically closing my crown. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing that I'm working on. Some things that can help when trying to brush your crown, when you're applying like your pomades and all this stuff like that, instead of just like dipping like two fingers in and you know rubbing it together like that, and then boom, applying like that. Try doing like, okay, boom. You get it on the fingers, you know, like on your two fingers or whatever, on, you know, or on one, whichever, whichever, however you wanna do it. You take it to your crown, you find your crown, you know, use the mirror, and then, you know, go in like a circular motion, you know, applying the pomade to your crown. And then from there, you'll take your brush, and then boom, start hitting it. You know, start going around, and then that way, instead of just, you know, doing like this, doing, you know, going all over, and then, then, you know, taking a brush and then, you know what I'm saying, just brushing like that. You can just take two fingers, boom. Do it like a circular, you know what I'm saying, like a circular motion, like around your crown, like that. And then, boom, take your brush. And then, you know what I'm saying, basically just spread it throughout your head. You dig what I'm saying? If you haven't been doing that already, or if you've never done that before, try it. I mean, like, it might work for you. I mean, like, you may see, you may see, like, great progress in your crown. You dig what I'm saying? And also in your waves in general. It's just best to try to, you know what I'm saying, like, to just kind of pay attention to how you, you know what I'm saying, like how you brushing around in your crown area. And then also, you know what I'm saying, just play around with it. And then like at the same time, like you gon', you may end up seeing that, okay, boom, when I brush this way, you know what I'm saying, going like this type of pattern right here, like it, it's kind of easier to close my crown. Cause like also like in the first beginning, man, it may be hard to close your crown. You know what I'm saying? Like you may have a difficult time trying to do it. But at the same time, like the more you brush or whatever, like the more you brush and the more time you spend on it, you are gonna see slowly that waves are starting to you know what I'm saying? Starting to come in that area and they're starting to, you know what I'm saying? And it's starting to close up and you're gonna love it, man. You dig what I'm saying? And also another thing that I've heard of people doing, you know, like, and of course you may already know this from like watching other people's videos, but like when you go to the barbershop, you know what I'm saying? Like say if you're getting like a two or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like you may wanna keep the crown at a three. You know what I'm saying? That way, like you have hair there in that area, you know what I'm saying? That's able, that you're able to brush and it's able to, you know what I'm saying, it's probably easier to wave up, you dig what I'm saying? It's easier to brush. And other than just getting everything set, if you get everything cut low, then it's hard to, you know what I'm saying, like, be able to get the crown to form, you dig what I'm saying? These are just like some little things that you can try to kind of just improve your crown, man, because like I say, once you improve it, like you're gonna transition from just being like, just like a guy with waves, to being like on that elite status, you dig what I'm saying? It's all about just putting that work in, man. I'm always in the videos with that, man. It's all about putting that work in, you know what I'm saying? So basically, man, just try to spend more time on your crown area, you know what I'm saying? Like getting waves everywhere else is, is fairly easier than getting waves in your crown area. So try to spend more time on your crown. And also another key, when you brushing, when it comes to trying to close your crown, do that last because like, Say if you say if you close your crown first and then start brushing everything else, then at that point all you're gonna be doing is possibly just open it back up again, and you're gonna be able to tell when you're gonna open it up again. You're gonna be able to tell, like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you may have to look up there, and you may have to tell. So yeah, man, like when you're brushing, brush everything else first, especially you know what I'm saying. Especially if your crown isn't even like really just formed yet, 
brush everything else first and then then the last thing you want to do is close your crown you know what i'm saying like that's the last thing you want to do you know what i'm saying so yeah man that right there is gonna be the end of this video man you know what i'm saying it's a little short video but yeah man if you're new to the channel man make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more wavy content man it's only gonna be a little from here man stay tuned on my design peace